Well hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for this episode 24 on Compton Farm with me Farmer Murphy. Well as you can see I have the equipment set up here on field 21 for the sorghum harvest. I have completed the sugar beet harvest uh, and while that was going on I limed the sugar beet field, uh, I forget what the number of that one was, field 23. So it's ready to be plowed and rock picked. And also um, I shuttled the products we had around in our various silos and got everything where it should be. So that's all done. Oh, I should add that we got an extra 100,000 liters of sugar beet uh, from the contract that went in our pig food production. So we have over uh, 700,000 liters, might even be over eight, should check. Uh, what have we got? Sugar beet, 733,000 liters in there. Definitely enough sugar beet in there to run uh, all our productions and pig food for a couple of years. Anyways, uh, oh, we should go in and do this, collect on that, which means we should have enough to pay off our loan. There we are, debt free. Our final objective met. Um, does that mean this is gonna be the last episode? Possibly, but uh, probably not. We still have the uh, corn field to harvest and we also have our grass fields. Uh, two of them would be ready right now, actually. But uh, next month, they'll both be ready. So we have to cut those and get those taken care of. Um, so we'll get all that done in this episode. Potentially. Depends uh, how much yakking I do. And uh, we'll see. But it certainly is uh, coming to uh, to an end here on Comston. And we're going to leave uh, the next owner in pretty darn good shape, I would say. But we'll uh, that'll be the last thing we'll do. We'll just kind of do a review of where everything is at uh, as a wrap up either at the end of this episode. I'm kind of thinking it'll just be a short little episode all on its own. We'll see. I don't know if I mentioned it last episode I meant to, but I can't remember if I did or not, but we've already put as many hours on this harvester as we had on our case harvester when we sold it, so gotten some good use out of this. It's getting to the point, I think, uh, if I were carrying on and it were my decision, I'd probably repaint this to help mitigate the repair costs, but... We'll leave that decision up to the next farm uh, manager, owner. I said earlier I, I would have liked to play it on this offline just on my own to carry on but uh, it's yeah just suffering too many game crashes right now that's why I didn't show the last uh, sugar beet delivery because game crash 
have enjoyed this map. I know I've said it before, but I have really enjoyed it. I'll likely uh, just get this field squared up as to where I can get a worker going on it, and then I'll go and start uh, working on field, what was it, 23, um, plowing it and rock picking it, so on. I think if it were uh, my decision, um, what I would do next year is I would probably not uh, plant any sugar beets. I'd just keep what we had and maybe hope for another sugar beet harvest to come up that you might be able to get a little extra on, but uh, there's plenty of beets there. I, th I think what I calculated, 270,000 for a year is what we needed, something like that. I would plant all soybeans in those two in the soy the field that currently has soybeans and in that field 23 and get a bit of a, a head on the soybeans because that's used for making mineral feed and is a better cash crop if there was anything extra but we'll leave that to the next owner to decide as well but we'll get the fields prepped for him anyway him or her i guess i should say them Just looking at the time, we should be able to get this done in the daylight. Darn close anyways, I would think. Well, by now you know the drill. I'll carry on with this and I'll bring you back in a little bit. Well, we got a worker going on that soybean harvest. I know I kept calling it a sorghum harvest, but it's actually soybean, which actually is much more useful for us. Oh, wrong button there. So I've uh, grabbed the plow and the big old fence here and we're going to start plowing field 23. I don't think we've plowed with the paint yet, that I recall. And of course, once we plow it, we'll have to rock pick it. But as you can see, it's lined, but it'll be all ready to go once we've got the rocks off it. I'm trying to do this in cab. We'll see how that works. Actually, you should take a look right now and see 
we're missing any. Oh no, just about perfect. This is a job we would have done with our big Massey normally. <laughs> Oh, you can see the harvest going on off to the right of us there through the trees I'll get this plowed uh, today but I don't think I'll get the rock picking done I'll have to save that for tomorrow on the farm I do have it all planned where we're going to go from here. Not going to reveal that just yet. Later in this episode or in the final episode, if there's another one, I will. But I hope you come and join me on there because it's going to be something just a bit different, I think. got the nice fall colors going in full bloom here on Comston. Well, we have just about a full grain tank, so I'll have to go and take care of that here pretty shortly. I sure do like the maneuverability of these two track tractors.
a little quieter over on this edge of the field. Birds are pretty rowdy on the other side. Anyways, I think I'll leave you there. I better go take care of that grain tank. And uh, once I've done that, I'll... Well, and there it is full. Uh, I'll come back and continue the plowing. And we'll bring you in for an update, uh, as usual, either at the very end of the day or first thing tomorrow morning after the chores are done. So catch up with you in a little bit. Well, there we go. Harvest is complete here on field 21. We got 62,000 liters of soybeans off of that. So we can take and deliver those. Oh, I guess we should look to see where they're going. Oh, handy to our farm shop. And whatever's left over, we'll put in our farm production down at the main farm for mineral feed production. So we'll get a head start on that. Because our soybeans aren't ready yet. Whoa. Now we'll dump the trailer first and then we'll finish off with the truck. Uh, 4,000 liters for us. I will take it. All right, I'll take the truck down to the farm. I actually have the harvester parked in the way, so uh, I thought we'd take a look and see what the repair was cost for just that one little contract. So I'll catch up with you back at the farm. All right, let's check out the repair on this. Oh, 1,600, I guess that's not too, too bad. Oh, give it a quick wash here. I'll get it put away and I can bring the truck in the yard and we can dump off those soybeans. Well good morning and welcome to a new day on the farm and a new month. As you can see, I have our harvester down here at our soybean field. Uh, I just recently edited the last episode. I cannot believe the number of times I called uh, that soybean harvest. So I'm sure a few of you were uh, wondering if I was off my nut a little bit there. Um, I just brought the truck because this isn't going to be uh, that much. We're going to get off that small field. As per usual, our chores are all done, including riding the horses. I just got to pay attention here. I don't want to run over. There we go. Uh, you see, can see our money has gone up. Uh, we had a pretty good sale day. We had some variable revenue streams that all came in at the same time, so that was really nice. We had uh, bread, uh, cheese, and cake all uh, in our production come up in the same day, which doesn't often happen. And uh, 
you may recall we make a little solid fertilizer in our uh, farm production building down at the main farm we haven't sold that for quite a while I think since we bought the fence So that'd be uh, three or four months. So uh, I sold that off this morning as well. And the nice thing is we get to keep all this money because we are out of debt. I'm going to get this uh, soybean harvest done all of this is going to go into our farm production building for making mineral feed uh, at this point anyway um, I might have to haul down a little lime I know we're going to get some rocks um, which we can make lime with but uh, I, I don't think we'll have the quantity that we need and then uh, I'll get set up and we'll do our corn harvest next then it'll be uh, field prep on these fields and we have some grass work we can do I think all our grass fields should be ready so that's the plan for this month so I'll quit yakking and get working here and uh, we'll catch up with you in just a little bit well there that field's done so we well I need to interrupt the past Farmer Murphy there uh, apparently he thought nearly 80 minutes of uh, video was going to make one episode don't know what he was thinking uh, apparently he wasn't <laughs> maybe he ran out of fingers and toes uh, he was obviously really confused he didn't even know what episode it was so anyways that's why the untraditional uh, outro here and of course uh, for the start of the next episode there'll be a non-traditional intro but hey that's the way it goes but if you're still with me hey thanks for watching i really do appreciate it if you found this entertaining or informative in any ways please hit the like and subscribe button and if you want to see when other content like this lands hit that old notification bell but for this episode this is farmer murphy signing off till next time